can um, make the, 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 the pill primarily because it's hormones. Um, to be less effective is, is antibiotics or, any, okay. or some medication that might counteract the, the hormone in, in the system, yes. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to take our final commercial break and we'll come back with more of Big Chats right here on Love TV and more of them. How about a brand new iPhone 4? Or perhaps an iPad would be nice. Or how about a Galaxy S3? Deals are available at smart showrooms countrywide while supplies last. Smart, bringing people together. Hummingbird Furnishings is proud of its unique blend of wicker, rattan, wood, bamboo, and resin outdoor products made for domestic and commercial use. We continually strive not only to create beautiful work of art, but furniture that will last a lifetime. Each piece is intricately handwoven and manufactured with the finest materials and craftsmanship available. Thorough inspections are executed as products progress through each department, assuring our customers the highest quality. Let us help you to create your very own masterpiece. Visit us in San Pedro, Placencia, or Belmopan. Browse our website, www.hummingbirdfurnishings.com, or call us at 822-3164. Hummingbird Furnishings, beautiful furniture built to last a lifetime. Big chance, great vision. Greater action by youths for youths building our nation. The show that is not afraid to tackle the issues that you care about. The show that is inspired and created by youth for youth. The show that gives you what you've been asking for. The show that gives you a voice. Big chat. Yes, Belize, the Belize Family Life Association's Youth Advocacy Movement is back with the number one rated teen show on the airwaves, Big Chats, Big Chats. at 3 p.m. on Love TV and More FM. Now, with more surprises, more segments, more giveaways, and more burning issues. Tune in and log on to Big Chats. Big Chats. Coming to you live, bringing you facts, Youths on the movement, call it Big Chats. When it comes to keeping the nation informed, the team of reporters and producers at the RSV Media Center is the undisputed leader in Belize. The evening news on Love Television is up to the minute, fair and balanced, and delivered to you in a way that makes it easy to understand. Join Andrew Gidwani and the news team each weekday evening at 6 o'clock for Belize's premier evening news. When Belizeans want news they can trust and depend on for accuracy and objectivity, they turn to The Evening News with Andrew Gidwani, only on Love Television, highlighting all things Belizean. Earlier 
on the show, we asked what are two advantages of using a condom? Well, there are various advantages of using a condom. It is very affordable. Second, it is easily accessible. Third, it protects you against HIV and AIDS and STIs. Fourth, it prevents you from getting pregnant. Keep in mind, guys, always use a condom every time you have sex. And remember to kiss. Keep it sexually safe. Okay, and welcome back to Bait Chats, right here on Love TV. Myself, Tyrone Shmila, I have Hydea Galanji. Along our guest for today is Ms. Anna Carrillo and Ms. Eva Burgos. We're going straight to you, Adric, for our winner for our smart yes, giveaway. Sir, right? We're done going last winner for the last giveaway, right? Mm -hmm. The winner are Marsha Hinkson, right? And the question was, where does fertility fertilization occurs mm -hmm. and the answer is in the fallopian tube and you want yourself the smart package right come in anytime normal working hours that barely with your identi identification card at 26 21 mercy lane right mm -hmm. and you'll get your your package from smart and then no on the face so people may tell me you now the sure nice mm -hmm. it's a lot of information people learn thing when they know about all right, right. Yeah, like new things so they, they get really educated part of when they don't know already so, uh, so when I feel good about right All right cool and uh, one of the things that I would like to ask you know, especially when we're talking about contraceptives and menstrual cycle how important it is throughout all of this to discuss with teenagers about sex because sometimes we do we miss that whole part about <laughs> sex and this is what happens you know people you know you want, to about sex? Yeah. you want to go experiment. You want experiment. Is that an experiment when you know you're not? Mm -hmm. When you don't know you're going to try and mm -hmm. something and boom. Something, you know, something happened. Two baby calls. Something, something happened. You know, you get there. <laughs> we never knew experiment. After uh, six days, <laughs> you know, things like that. Um, well, studies have shown that the chances of someone becoming pregnant um, rather quickly when they just starting had sex is about 80% without using any form of contraceptive method. That's high. That's yeah, high. Exactly. So um, for those who have experience where they start having sex um, and then three months later they're already pregnant mm -hmm. is because there was no form of formal birth control. People would say, oh miss, you know I made to use my rhythm and my rhythm must be just completely out mm -hmm. because it wasn't working. As Miss Eva said, you know, these things only work with certain people. And then there's also contraceptive methods, like I said, with rhythm, that is, which are the natural family planning methods. And those, imagine if these need counseling and, co and constant guidance, the natural family, pl family planning methods are far more tedious and a mm -hmm. lot more information and it takes a <laughs> lot more dedication, right? Uh, when it comes to prescribing any one of the methodologies to prevent pregnancy is there any such thing where it, um, people could look at which is more safe for their bodies or anything like that or yes they is, do okay is there just a general checkup uh there is a general checkup that also mm. you have to understand the availability of that contraceptive for that young person especially if the person is young mm -hmm. um you have to understand as well the price of it because although bfla have some services the majority, you know, we have to buy them at the drugstore. So mm -hmm. you have to consider all these different factors. And also, you have to also keep in mind that if you're a very sexually active young person, you're not really thinking about just unplanned pregnancy. You're also thinking of STIs, mm -hmm. um, HIV, and all those other factors. And out of the methods, the condoms are the ones that protect both. Mm -hmm. um, any STIs and pregnancy. And we call oh. them dual protection. Yes. Dual and protection. protection where you're using um, the contraceptive or the pills. And, or the condom. In, and, and then you're using the condom. The pills <laughs> primarily is using for to prevent Pre pregnancy, pregnancy and then the condoms are then used for the prevention of STIs yes. and HIV. Mm. When it comes to any one of the methodologies that are used, do you put that responsibility on the female specifically or it is something that a female should discuss with their partner, whether it be 15, 14, to oh. you could be as old as 24 in your 40s, or that is something that is just both responsible for the two person, male and female. I was to bring this back to you. Who is having sex? One, sex one person or both? Well, we know that, but All right, know. so then that answer <laughs> is right there. The responsibility <laughs> lies with the two persons. It's not just one person. I have had instances working mm. at BFLA where the partner comes and then the boyfriend says like, uh-uh, 
She not went for no contraceptive because we know when she get fat. Right? Well, that one, you know. So, and then you have the other uh, part, yeah. and then we would say, are you responsible enough to take the consequences that come along with not using a contraceptive method? Mm -hmm. It's like, I could deal with the 10 pounds, or you want to have this six pound baby that grows up to be a hundred and add pound baby later on, or child, mm -hmm. you know? So those are certain things that you have to take into consideration. It's responsibility of both partners. So what are some of these other side effects that comes with um uh, that primarily comes with, with the with primarily with the um, hormonal, it's the weight the one that everybody are concerned mm -hmm. about is the it's the uh, weight change. Okay. Yeah. Some instances where instead of increasing weight, some women lose weight. Yeah. And then wow. there are types of contraceptive methods that are high dose and low dose. High dose are the ones that would have um, and those are prescribed. Because what didn't work for you on a low dose has to go on a high dose. And sometimes whatever doesn't work on a high dose, you have to go to a low dose. That's why it's very important to visit a health, health center. center. You can't just pick up something and, and move on with it. Mm. Okay, then. what we're going to do before we go to you, Rodrick, we have to go into Youth and Blast and we'll come right back to you, Rodrick. So let us do Youth and Blast and we'll come back with more of Big Chat. exciting and um, I'm kind of overwhelmed that actually was considered. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But not, not a problem. So yeah. So um, Ernie, I know you traveled very far to come for the show tonight. Um, definitely a lot of people want to see her, but um, in terms of your professional field of photography, um, um, who, do you, who do you work with? Um, I mean, yeah, like, like how you get started off in the first place, you know, and, and who you work with now. Okay, well, starting off, actually didn't start off as a photographer. Um, I kind of consider myself an all-around artist because I actually started off doing sketches, paintings and stuff like that. And it all um, started from school. Because you know you have your electives where you, you get to try out different things and when, it, when I hit the art room, not that way, things start so, to so happen. you don't want it, eh? Young star whereby you just stay in your house while everybody to play basketball and stuff and you just sketch and sketch. Yeah, and while everybody they out there you know, practice their ball of skills I mean when they practice my <laughs> pencil. <laughs> Alright, great. You have a specific style and then how you Yeah, actually I art. my stuff I would kinda call it more pop kinda more fashion style, mm -hmm. more exciting and arts like stuff, I mean. And not necessarily a more expressive. Yeah, more really expressive really art form. I know like I just want to pick up and go to somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We did have um Billy King Bass come out yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't like that. I guy. mean if you are if, if, if you say you are got like what backdrop and you are just start calling people to do like what actual set oh, set up shot okay. then yeah but something more professional, not yeah. something just random and I mean not that I against it, but then I mean it's just, it's not, just not, not my preference. Alright, yeah. great. You do you do uh, not to cut you short, you do yeah. seasonal shoots you do, like you know for uh, Seeing that this is the Halloween season, would you do a Halloween shoot? Yeah, actually, I have done a Halloween shoot. Well, I didn't really want to call it a Halloween shoot, it was just more or less dark and kind of. Well, it suited the um, season, right? The season. Okay. And yes, I do. I When I kind of, let's say, reinvented my style and I'm um, sharpening up my skills and stuff like that, I, I started off doing something for each um, time of the year, like I did something for, I started off like first, I had something new for the new year, just some sort of fresh look, for a fresh idea. Something that you probably Yeah, so I kind of call it new, a new day. And that's what I know I went out and into that would the be field. the title. Yeah, that, I kind of, I kind of, yeah, I kind of come up with my title and then I play on that and then make everything new. Then, you know, you have to fall into Valentine, you had something for Easter. So you just shoot for almost every season. Yeah. So many, um, like I mentioned before, um, a lot of people, especially in a year, 
artist probably already know you work with a lot of people yeah. but being on shows like this you probably have the opportunity to reach out to a wider span of people yeah. especially people who would not traditionally be interested in photography mm -hmm. um, um, you know what you have to say about that uh, is that, that um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a, well yes yeah, that's true because and it's a good thing because um, we need to try to come up to a certain level and have uh, be exposed to a wider audience yeah, exactly. and so especially since we have a very small population <laughs> yeah I personally walk around Belize always looking at people and say okay that he would he or she would be suitable for a shoot I had um, this one person in particular because I was working at the Angela's Press and I used to see her pass every day going to school <laughs> Just wait till you graduate. <laughs> and and she did, and she did, and, and she's, I, I used to be like, I really, the level of yeah, I really she had the eye, and she was, was yeah, yeah, she's but, great. <laughs> uh, Ernie brought along one of his special women with him, uh, always featured in all of his good work. Um, guys, this is, introduce yourself, Anlin, Anlin for uh, you guys who don't know. Um, Anlin, how has it been working with Ernie? Well, I've known Ernie for the past two years, and uh, all I can say is his work is um, amazing. Um, he has the vision, you know. We're really close friends, so he would call me up and be like, okay, I mean, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to capture in my photograph. And so he sent a little guide, and then I'm there in my mirror practicing my little faces and how to point my eyes and stuff. So, so, so sorry to cut you. So you would actually help Ernie. You would be like the side man, the right hand person. Fit get the set and everything together, pick out the people, you do any yeah, like that all? him, I just do what he says. He's the big boss in this scenario. <laughs> so, Anlin, um, I know this is the Halloween season. Uh, Ernie mentioned that he started out, he usually starts off um, each of his, his work, the beginning of our season, uh, even if it's Christmas, if it's New Year's, if it's Valentine's, he would start it off the beginning of that month. Um, how did the Halloween shoot go? Well, first off, I have to say that I heard you were supposed to be in that shoot. Oh, I no. I must say that you missed out. I mean, we had a lot of fun shooting. When I might say I'll leave it out. I'll leave it. You know, I'll try to wet my foot in there and leave it, right? So, um, um, are you going to be doing um, the probably the Christmas shoot with him, of course? Uh, well, Ernie no, knows yes, no. that whenever he needs me, I'll not that it. No, no, no. <laughs> Whenever he needs me, all he has to do is just pick up the phone and call me or text me and I'll make myself available for All him. right. All right, guys. Well, there we had it. Uh, photographer Ernie Alpuche, definitely one of the best in Belize and he's going to definitely continue his work. Uh, you should definitely see more of him as well. This was Youth and Blast, Ryan DJ Rival here with you guys. Tune in next week again where I have something special for you. Know? You have been put on blast, guys. And welcome back to Big Chess. That was Youth on Blast with Ryan Bennett and his teacher, Ernie Alpuche, who is a photographer. Um, idea before we go to Rajik, you had a question? Yes, I would just like to ask, what are some of the emergency contraceptives? Because I know that sometimes different things can happen, maybe the condom break while having sex, or maybe you have rape victims, you know, so you have anything that you can maybe give to them, something like that, it wasn't available at the time, so do they have anything that can help with that? Yes, there is, there is the emergency contraceptive, also known as the morning after pill, um, it's that BFLA, they have the one that is called Optinor, mm -hmm. um, that's our two, those are two little pills that are in the pack. And you take them um, one now or when, when you get it, and then 12 hours you take the other um, to minimize the side effects of the, because it's high concentration of the hormones mm -hmm. in it, right? And it needs to be taken within, um, within the first 72 hours. Mm -hmm. okay? That's okay. three days. That's three days, within mm -hmm. the first, the, the three days, yes. Exactly. And I've heard that. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> um, just one question, one little question. Um, I've heard that it has more side effects than the regular contraceptive, far, far more. Is the, that true? The major side effect that we know that it would have is the nausea, mm -hmm. the headaches, and probably um, like a little bit of cramps. And vomiting. And vomiting. Once you vomit, 
and let's see if you vomit within the first hour of taking it, mm. the then you have back. to start the process again. Okay. Right? Wow. So what we recommend is that um, most people could take two of them and then we would say chill out for the rest of the day. Right? If not, then if you can't take it like that, then you take it one now and then 12 hours later you take the other one. So for example, yeah. if someone continues like say maybe every week they want to go on the emergency contraception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we That's don't recommend name. that. The name it okay. says emergency. emergency. If that is the case that you will be having unprotected sex, it's not an emergency. It's not an emergency. You go on one of those methods, or you go and start using your condom. And, and because and if you do it like that every time, it, it, it does it, it lower the effectiveness of it. It doesn't lower the effectiveness, but I don't think that you would want to be vomiting if it's the, the side effects and having mm. cramps and having all these bad side effects yeah. to it. So. Mm -hmm. um, Remember that this is high dose. For, from this, you before we had this, we used to take four pills of this to make one dose of this. Okay. So it's high levels of, of the uh, hormones. Um, Roderick, you have a yes, couple um, questions from our viewers. One question is, when can I get pregnant when I had used contraceptives for three years and I stopped now? Um, the body has to go through its process. Mm -hmm. and the hormone levels that tend to suppress one and increase the other, right? For fertilization, for pregnancy to occur or to happen, you have to wait till the body gets rid of the excess hormones in okay. the system, right? So that when then, because what happens with the contraceptive method, when it releases the egg from the ovary and goes into the fallopian tube, the mucus here needs to clear up. Okay. Right? Or what happens that sometimes the, the, pre pre the mucus here prevents the sperm from reaching the egg. In this case, where she wants to become pregnant, she will just have to go through the, the process. And it, can, and it can be a little bit um, emotionally stressful because when I was pregnant, I, before I became pregnant, I had to go through the same process mm -hmm. of letting this, the, the hormone wear off mm -hmm. and then the, the cycle to begin on its normal cycle again where it ovulates and then it waits there and all of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. just consider that everybody, again, I like to say that we're different. Mm -hmm. So some people will stop the injection like one week and then they get pregnant. Some will last up to three years. Mm -hmm. um, some will be three months. So mm -hmm. you just have to be patient and kind of cleanse your system. You know, All use right. a different cleansing to right. system. The second question is, um, would I get gain weight if I use injections? The hormonals, which mm -hmm. are the injection and the pills, they can, like I said, it reacts differently to different people. In mm -hmm. some people, you can gain weight. In some, some people, people, you can lose, lose weight. Mm -hmm. Right? It depends. So I, um, it does have to go how your, your rhythm and your system goes along. You can't determine because I couldn't say um, 10 years ago that I would have gained so much weight, right? On, on something. <laughs> but it you can't happen. completely blame but it You can't completely blame it on that as well. <laughs> but the, the counseling... I have to go back to the to the counseling. Mm -hmm. It's important because during the counseling, the, all of these things are are discussed, discussed and right. all of these things are told. So then later on, you can't come and say, "Miss, I gained twenty pounds in a three months or something like that." Right. right okay. Cool. With that, we have to go straight into grind my gears, and we'll be back with more big chats. Mm -hmm. really grinds my gear. Cool. Frank. 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 All right, all right, guys. We're back again with another great segment of What Grinds My Gears. This is Ryan. And I'm joined by... Corey Dawson. All right. First of all, you know what grinds my gear, Corey? We could get straight to the point. Yo, somebody text you and tell you meet this away. No, this person live far, far, far. You walk long, 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 all at distance, and when you reach that person, not a day. <laughs> yeah. no, tell me that no grind our gear. What grind our gear? Why we grind my gears that when time you just don't drop for somebody. Well, you're not just like you're going to drop for somebody, right? And when you nearly reach for that, I was, not carry my way away, I could drop me right there, Lynn. Well, where you think you be going? <laughs> <laughs> Why? You know what grind my gear, people? Coincidence. I hate coincidence, right? Listen to me. Check this out, for instance. I don't tongue I meet one of my little, you know, past high school classmates. They see me in one clothes, and next week I just so happen to miss it a senior person again, but they see me in the same clothes by coincidence. <laughs> that not grind your gear? It's not grind your gear. We grind my gear that when people can't talk and they go for a TV. <laughs> well, I hear my son foot broke, so I go and see what happened to our cage a bit. 
Well, yeah, John said here yeah, if it broke. So what you thought? What you going to say? What did you mean that you're going to say if he's all right? That that way I mean. Here is someone kiss her. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's it for what grants my gear this week. Of course, we always have good stuff for you. So make sure to tune in next week again. All right. And welcome back to Big Chats now with Zoyan and Corey doing their thing on Grand My Gears. Um, before we wrap up, you have any one last question before we All go, right. Roger. I'll give you last one last question. All right, the last question is which doc can I see from BFL here to do a body checkup? Nothing major, just to check up as a young person because I have an irregular menstrual cycle. All right, well, Miss Anna. Um, well, at BFLA, they have several clinics in the mm. country. Um, um, the doctor, if they're looking specific at a, at a doctor, mm. we have the NHI, mm -hmm. which is on um, Central American Boulevard, right before the lights. Mm -hmm. um, if you're an NHI um, what, what do you call it? client, right, yeah. mm -hmm. you can access the services there. Um, there's a nurse side clinic here that has a doctor that comes, I think, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Fridays. from 1 to 4. You would have to make an appointment to see that doctor. And usually the process before you see the doctor, you see the nurse. And then mm -hmm. the nurse then refers you to the doctor, right? And the doctor there is Dr. Mauricio Navarrete, Navarrete. who's a OBGYN, which is ob obstetrician gynecologist. Okay, mm. before we go, Ms. Burgess, do you have any last words to our viewers about contraceptives and as well as menstrual cycle? Well, I just want to know that mm. no contraceptive is 100%. Mm -hmm. You know, all of them have their little failure. Um, mm. The only abs will be abstinence, okay. but that's not reality. We have yeah. young people having unprotected sex, mm -hmm. they're having sex. But use the dual if you are on a study uh, partner mm -hmm. and you want to prevent pregnancy and prevent other STIs. I, I personally recommend the dual for young persons who are, you know, mature enough to mm -hmm. understand. And yes, it's a two-person um, decision. It's uh -huh. both of you, men, females, have to agree on what uh, what you're gonna use. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how about you, Miss Anna? Um, I would since this ever did the contraceptive, mm -hmm. I'll do about menstruation and the mm -hmm. cycle. I think it's as women as well as when we have our partners is that it's the responsibility of both of us to, to understand how this works um, and in, in prevention of pregnancies um, and STIs is something that you have to communicate you can't just pick up one day and say oh he look cute look at Karen and Becky be husband you know <laughs> or make she be wifey right so those are the things that are important and of communication, Tyrone, you know me, me and mm. my communication. <laughs> it's important, you know, open communication is important and you can go about, when it comes to parents and teaching their, their daughters or their sons about menstruation cycle, again, it's keeping it brief and straight to the point. No lot of birds and the bees and the, mm. you go straight to it. Reality. Okay. Reality. Reality. Yes. All right, I know you have to give your shout outs before we go. Oh so yes, because I already got go my text. <laughs> um, shout out to my kids, uh, Brianna and Angelique. Um, Hope you are well behaved at home <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of my family. Okay, and Miss Burgess? Yeah, to my family as well and all the Gohoven fellows. I know some of you are listening. Uh, so, big up. All right, okay. cool. So, hi there. I guess we, we both learned. A lot. Yes, uh, every time Miss Anna, they, uh, you know, I learn something new. So, it's always <laughs> a pleasure to have Miss Anna here with us. And thanks <laughs> once again, Miss Burgess. Um, Next week, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know we're celebrating our youth advocacy movement anniversary. Yes. yes. So we have a lot of prizes that we're going to be giving away. We have a couple of our members, yeah. alumni coming and through. present mm -hmm. who are coming through. So it's going to be a very fun show for us. Big show. Yes, um one mm -hmm. reminder the show repeats on Sunday at 3 p.m. right? And for those who didn't get their question answer, please post your question on Facebook and I will um Answer them, you know. I'll the answer them. Professional this, uh, people will give you the answer. answer. Yeah, yeah, I'll give professional <laughs> help. You could forward it to us, and we will get yeah. an answer to you. All right. <laughs> All right. So with that, from myself, Tarun Chimilia, Hydea Galante, Miss Anna Korea, and Miss Eva Burgos, we'd like to tell you, have a good evening, and we'll see you next week, same place, same time. Big chat. Big chat. Great vision. Greater action by youths for youths building our nation. Coming to you live, bringing you facts. Youths on the movement calling it big chats. Great vision, greater action by youths for youths building our nation. Coming to you live, bringing you facts. Youths on the movement calling it big chats. That's right, we back on the movement. Fresh new season, fresh new blueprint. Talking about issues facing our
Now we're youths inspiring the nation, delivering truth on violence, poverty, sexual health, and a lot more topics that are so heartfelt. Misinformation causing distress, got youths crying out, we need some help, so we reach out with a brand new vibe. Love TV, more FM, we live. Keep you entertained while giving you stats. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Big chats, great vision.